to our interview question functional interface already pro hello everyone very warm welcome to think constructive i am isha in this session i will be discussing another very important feature of java 8 that is functional interface functional interface is going to be very very helpful for all the java programmers and that's another very important java interview question also all right so stay tuned watch the session till the end so that you don't miss upon anything okay so let us start quickly with the functional interface discussion as the name indicates it's an interface so why do we call it as a with a specific name functional interface it has got some specific things okay so let us see what it is it is a java 8 feature it has exactly one abstract method in an interface so this is the special characteristic for any interface to be called as functional interface that means it has got only one or exactly one abstract method okay so if there are more abstract methods available in an interface then that interface will not remain functional interface we also call it as single abstract method interface or in short we call it sam how an interface can be called as functional interface we put add functional interface annotation on top of that interface although this annotation is not compulsory it is not mandatory but it is a good practice to have this annotation if you want to enforce any interface to remain functional interface okay any interface which is having only an abstract method can be implemented with the help of lambda expression okay so that means if any interface is having more than one abstract method that will not remain or that will not remain functional interface and that cannot be implemented with the help of lambda expression so we lose the benefit of lambda expression there okay so now when i create any interface let's say now only with one abstract method and use the lambda expression for the implementation and go on my things are working fine but later on in my project any other developer came in and he found the requirement to add a new method in that interface he'll just go ahead add but what will happen in that case my entire implementation will be broken that means wherever i have used lambda expression in order to implement functional interface or that method that will be broken right so here comes the need of having this add functional interface annotation on top of the interface that means what this annotation will do this annotation will restrict or enforce the constraint on the interface to have only one abstract method not more than that other than one abstract method that functional interface can have n number of other methods which are already implemented okay so in java 8 we have also got default method implementation which can be done inside interface itself that means i will have a method with its default implementation inside interface itself so i can have such n number of methods inside the functional interface everything will remain fine but there is a restriction of having only one abstract method inside an interface and to enforce that restriction we use add functional annotation on top of that interface all right so that my further lambda expression implementation remains intact okay now let's see the demonstration of uh, how we can create functional interface how can we implement it using lambda ex expression and also if we have more than one abstract method what happens we'll see everything via demonstration now okay here is the intellij idea editor you can use any other java editor of your choice i have already created a demonstration in this i have created an interface called welcome and it has only one abstract method okay i have also put the annotation as functional interface to restrict the compiler that this cannot have any other abstract method okay so this point is very very important in order to restrict this interface to not have any other abstract method it can only have one we should put this add functional interface annotation okay and here is a demo file class in in which i have implemented this interface abstract method and then further i have called it so that it can show us 
what is happening okay so instantiation of this interface and then i have implemented this method okay and then finally we are calling it so let us now execute and see what happens see welcome interface is implemented i have got a message whatever i am trying to print here fine now let me put some default methods inside this welcome interface and see what happens let's say default void method one okay um, curly braces and let's say i'm just trying to print something here hello one fine another default method i am creating is let's say def default void method two all right and then the implementation system dot out dot pintalan and then again hello two all right so two default methods i have created no issues everything looks good and now if i will again execute this program let's see what happens welcome interface is implemented i've got the message and everything works fine compiler is not you know giving me any issues or any warning everything is good now because it is having only one abstract method now let us try to have one more abstract method inside this and see what happens public void abstract method let's see this one fine I have not given any implementation to ABS method. That means this is one more abstract method and see everywhere I'm getting error. First of all, this functional interface annotation itself is showing me error here. And here also you can notice in the Lambda expression implementation, what it is telling me multiple non overriding abstract abstract methods found in interface. So this is an error for Lambda expression. It will not know which method to implement because there are more than one. All right, so be very careful. Don't have more than one abstract method. If you want to use Lambda expression implementation going ahead. Okay, so it is a stopping here itself. Okay, now I will remove it and things will be fine. Perfect. Now let's have a look on functional interface annotation. So this is a functional interface annotation and let us see which all inbuilt Java annotations are functional interface. That means Java is already providing a lots and lots of functional interfaces. Okay, so that means wherever this annotation is used, all those interfaces are inbuilt Java provided functional interfaces. So here is the list of those interfaces. Fine. Discard that top one because this is what we have created. All the below one are Java provided functional interfaces. Okay. So now let's have a look on one that is runnable.java. We all know runnable. It is used with threads. So if I go inside runnable.java, see public interface runnable. There is only one abstract method that is run. So no implementation for this run method is provided. And on top of this runnable, we can see functional interface annotation is put. Okay. Let's now have a look on one more. Callable. Okay, so callable again, functional interface annotation is put here. Callable is an interface and call method is abstract method, which is given here. Likewise, you can explore many more interfaces which are provided by Java, which are actually functional interfaces. All right, so let's now have a quick summary of uh, the session. We started with functional interface introduction. We had a look on the key point or the most important point of functional interfaces, how any interface can be called as functional interface, what all restrictions, how it can be implemented. We have also seen the inbuilt functional interfaces provided by Java. All right. So if you have any more questions, any comments, please leave your thoughts in the comment section below. I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. Also, please annotate the timeline which you like the most because that will help 
everyone else all right thank you everyone for watching the session i hope you found it useful if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel please do so so that you remain updated with more upcoming sessions i'll keep on bringing more and more java spring boot rest api and microservices sessions on this channel so if you haven't yet subscribed please subscribe to the channel so that you always get notified with the latest new upcoming sessions if you like the session give me a thumbs up and also i would like to request you to share the session and channel details with more or more of your friends and colleagues so that we grow together more stronger as a community thank you once again keep watching see you in the next session Bye for now.